first referee, Mr. Bobby Celso. Second referee, Mr. Fernando Villardo. Let's welcome our starting lineup from our Petrogas Angels. Let's begin with our team captain. She wears jersey number 17, Relea Ferrina Saet. At number five, Gretchel Soltones. Wearing jersey number eight, Isa Pontilias. At number nine, Mary Remy Joy Palma. Number 12, Kesselin Galdones. And number 20, Jonna Sabete. Starting libero is number 22, Baby Love Barbon. Head coach, Mr. Timothy, Timmy Santo Tomas. Presenting our Chocomucho Flying Titans. Let's begin with jersey number one, Maria Lina Isabel Molde. Number three, Maria Dina Isabel Wong. Wearing jersey number seven, Madeline Renea Madayan. Number ten, Katrina May Tolentino. Number eighteen, Cherry Ann Rondina. And number twenty-two, Cherry Rose Luna. Starting libero is number 16, Tony Rose Ponce. Head coach, Mr. Dante Alinsonuri Jr. This match is under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusement Board. Here are your starters. Start a new way to watch the PBL via the Filipinas live app. For Filipinos everywhere, download and subscribe now for 149 pesos as we take a look at the starters for the Petrogas Angels. It will be Chisaet starting as the center for the Angels. Meanwhile, for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans, we have the usual uh, players of coach Dante Alinsunurin for the Flying Titans. As we welcome you all to our coverage on Filipinas Live and on One Sports, Dip Dip Yanko alongside Jamie La Vittoria calling this match. And uh, Jamie, we've talked about it at the top of the coverage, how these two teams are on different uh, sides of their streets. Petrogas know what uh, Chocomuch is experiencing right now. They've had that streak as well at the start of the conference. And unfortunately, they've gone on this three-game losing skid, but for Chocomuch, they're on a high right now. That's right. We can't underestimate the veteran experience of the Petrogas Angels. Maybe that is why Coach Timmy put in Chisa it to start. And this is, I believe, dip, dip. this is the first time she's starting today. Yeah. Well, last time, uh, it was Janelle Cheng who started out for the Angels and a quick two points for Petrogas. Now we've seen a different first six when it comes to Chalk and Mitrofine Titans. We've seen Caitlin Verai, we've seen Pat Valentino changing in and out, but I believe this is what Coach Dante thinks that this first six will be that team that will beat the Angels today. Right, if you're uh, Coach Timothy Santo Tomas, uh, what about that change on the center position? Uh, what do you think? Was he thinking why, okay, for this game, maybe the veteran g side would be able to uh, be a good start for the Angels? I always say this, you won't have two of the same setter. They have completely different setting styles. So Coach Timmy chose g side because of her vet experience, and she also knows the opponent, Choco Mucho. Yeah. Uh, she's had numerous battles with them. Uh, last time they faced each other was back in the Invitational Conference, which Choco uh, Mucho won, by the way. And they finally get uh, on the board with that attack. But Dip, when you look at the second six of the Choco Mucho Flying Titans, you have a lot of weapons. You have Bea De Leon, you also have Kaylin Verai, who is a star during the Invitational Conference. So anyone who you put in will provide for their team. That's why I'm sure the viewers will have a hard time answering the yes. Filipinas Live poll question because there's so many players who have been playing so well for these two teams. Smolder is one of them. Uh, Petrogas keeps the ball alive. Wong backs it to Kat. And that's going to be a point for Chocomucho as we send this to Kyla Kingsu for this report. Kyla? 
Vip and Jamie to talk. Mucha girls are definitely all fired up, really looking to extend their winning streak. Now, you know, the big factor of their exemplary performance this conference so far would have to be Dina Wong's playmaking, really allowing all her girls to contribute to every one of their wins. You know, I actually asked Dina what she's expecting today, and well, she answered to face nothing less of a champion caliber team. In her words, alam namin hindi magiging madali ang matchup na ito, but we'll gladly take this challenge step by step. You know, I also asked Dina to take me back to their B2B Cup and share how that experience is shaping this conference. And she mentioned that the bubble setup played a big role in bringing her girls tighter. As she stated, kitang kita naman ang difference kung paano kami gumalaw at mag-communicate sa court. And I'm sure we all can wait to see more of that today. Now, this support is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app. Get the most extensive UAAP, PBL, and PBA coverage all in one app. Catch all the games, games live in main view, multicam, and fan stream on selected games. Download the app from the Google Play App Store or via PilipinasLive.com. Register now for free. Now, back to you, Dip and Jamie. Thank you, Kyla, for that report. Uh, Jamie, can you talk about the experience that Chocomucho was able to gain from that international stint? I know it was a long, quite a long break before this All-Filipino Conference after the Invitationals. Just to look back at uh, the Flying Titans, in their first two conferences this year, they finished seventh place uh, in both of those. But right now, they're sitting at third. So how do you think did that affect their preparations here for this conference? Well, when they went to Vietnam for the BTV Cup, it was, it was, it, they were able to play on a higher level. And Dina did mention that they had a lot of bonding, right? It's it's in order to elevate your game inside the court, you really need to have the bonding outside yeah. the court, just in anything in life. So I'm sure it's based on how they're playing, this is the best we've seen the Chakamucha Flying Titan since the Ilocos bubble. Right, right. Which and we're a part of, by the way. That's we, right. We were part of that squad, yeah. Chakamucha team back then. And in that bubble, you guys finished fourth. Meanwhile, play continues. Wong goes to Tolentino from the back. That's a beautiful swing by Kat Tolentino. We all know this tandem, the Wong and Tolentino connection. And if you look at the set of Dina Wong, it's actually not as high as before. And because of that, the offense is much faster. The defense is not ready on the side of the Angels. We are tied at five all in set number one. Tolentino now has three points. Add to that total with that service ace. It's a great serve by Kat Tolentino. And if you notice, the target of the Petrogas Angels is usually to their rookie libero, Barbon. Mm. If you look at the lineup of the Angels, Galdonis and Barbon are the youngest on the squad. So keep in mind, they will be targeting ba Barbon in terms of service. I remember we covered that yes. game against uh, Petro between Petrogas and F2 which was the last win, by the way, of yes. uh, the Angels. And we were saying that F2 was trying to target her as well because they know that she's the uh, least experienced in That's that right. game. But she has been up to the challenge for Petrogaz. And right now, it's a tied game once again. Sabete also has four points. Pontilias will set up the play, and Sotones will get the point. That was a power tip by Sotones. She knew that Maddie and Dina were up there for the block, but you have to be smart in your movement. It's not always about power, but placement. Seven serving six. Sabete with a quick start for the Angels. Wong bump sets. Molde is blocked. Now we see great blocking on the side of the Angels. They are number three in blocking. It's important that the Chalco Mucho Flying Titans are prepared to cover. Well, that is what you mentioned at the top of the coverage during pregame that the Angels do well in their blocking department. And this girl right here is actually number four wow. in terms of blocking in the conference. Easy pickup for Barbon. Saed will send it to Soltones. And there's a net violation. Leave on Mari Madayag. And 
dip in the past two sequences you notice Jonas Sabeta her serve is much harder and because of that Dina Wong has the bump set and when a setter has a bump set it's an obvious offense mm. the block is already there it's easily read right Petrogaz has scored the last four points nice serve Wong goes to Tolentino trying to end the run but to no avail and it's a five zero blast for the Angels we have not seen any quick sets to the middles on the side of the Chakamucha Flying Titans because the receive is not in the setter's box. Uh, credit that to Sabete's uh, service. service. 10 to 6 here in set number one. Better first ball. But Diago's checked. Wong goes back to her and on the second try it works. That's a great swing by the classic running attack of Mari Madayag. See Dina Wong going for that eight quick attack, but it didn't work. But gave Mari that confidence when cross court. Seven serving ten. Oh, that is wide for Isa Molde. You know, it's difficult when you have that momentum and then it's followed by a unforced error. It's difficult for your, the tempo of your offense. Yeah. Well, quickly, it shifts to the side of the Angels. It's Casey Galdones. With a good serve. Wong to cut. Said ups it. So Tones popped up by Molde. Here comes Rondina. Picked up by Galdones, and it heads a play from the veteran, Chi Said. That's a great tip. Going for that corner pocket of zone five. She knew that there was a hole in the block. Great dig by Galdones. See Issa Molde trailing behind. Measured it perfectly court, on the spot. Good court awareness. And it's a five-point lead for the Angels. Wong upsets some for CC Rondina trying to get that one. Oh, Nabitin. See Isa Maizu Pontilias. Right idea going for that off speed attack. But we also have not seen CC Rondina score yet. That is evident because yeah. the Angels are number three in digging as well. So when it comes to transition, it's important that they attack right away. I'm sure if you're facing a uh a player in her caliber you would want to check her early on that's right that's what they're trying to do here in set number one but wong goes back to cc dug up by maizo pontilias soltones sends that wide and that's back-to-back -back points for chocomucho now we see a change in the petrogas angels we did mention they've had a weak rest uh, mental rest and physical rest and you see that they're more loose this is what we saw in Santa Rosa dip when we had covered their match against the F2 Logistics, and they are up three points. Nine serving 12, it's Maggie Madeag on deck. Saed upset Soltones, picked up by Molde. Here comes CC again with the approach, and down it goes for CC Rondina. CC Rondina going for that cross court attack. This is her first point. That's a great set by Dina Wong. You notice they like that high ball set, elevating above the block of the Angels. That could get her going here. Lead is down to two points. Saet back sets, Palma with a tip. Luna keeps it alive. Rondina again. Saad trying to do the same thing, but Molde read it perfectly. Rondina. Leave a net. Oh, somebody touched the net. Lucky point. <laughs> Remy Palma was guilty of that. She touched the net as she was going down. Her forearm scraped the net. That would have been an outside, outside. Yeah. yep. And just like that, the lead is down to one. I serve. Side back sets. Rondina with a single block. On Remy Palma. Oh my God. Kill block. <laughs> I'm speechless. Yeah. I mean, usually it's Palma who does that. But TC says, I can do this yes. thing too. Yep. Single block. Kill block by CC Rondina.
And Tomamucho unleashes a 5-0 run of their own. Oh, so Tony says Ooh. enough is enough. You just see her demeanor. Very firm, very focused. Great combination play by T. Syed. See the hole in the block dip. Yeah. And that point sends us to our technical timeout. Petrogas up by one. Jump. Watch the NBA 2K League APAC Invitational Tournament presented by Signal this November 17 and 18 at 4.30 p.m. live only on NBA TV Philippines and Filipinas Live. As you join us back inside the uh, Phil Oil Echo Oil Arena in San Juan for our final match of this Wednesday, or this uh, Thursday triple header rather. It's been a game of fronts. Petrogas was able to score five straight and take over. And then Chocomucho doing the same thing here, but then the last uh, point before the break was from the Angels. We see a seesaw battle between both squads. And looking at the strategy of the Petrogas Angels, you see that their serves are much stronger than before. And because of that, the first ball is not as stable for the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Amolde chasing that one and saving it. Saeed to Maizo Pontillas and Ponce able to keep it alive. Rondina. Wow. She too was shocked at that point. <laughs> Normally coming from that angle, a break ball, it's not the easiest of attacks. You had Molde with that bump set. Perfect dig by Ponce, but... Take a look at that angle coming from CC Rondina and going down the line. Chad, we saw your reaction in. A goal at the shot. Yep. As she ties the game at 13, all side goes to Palma, and that's a point. Remy Palma has a, has been a bit quiet in this first set. Maybe more sets for her, but that's a great beat, quick attack. Not the strongest, but she is known for her power tips. Yeah. Back to a one-point lead, but a service error for Sultones. Now we're more than halfway finished with the conference. Every point matters. You gotta eliminate the unforced errors. Rondina at the service line. She's number 10 in terms of uh, service so far in the conference. And Palma again gets one through. Going for that power tip, that back quick attack. Smart move by Palma. See Chisai really utilizing her middle blockers early in this first set. And because of that, the blocking of the Chocomucho Flying Titans, they're kind of tricked by Chisai and yeah. don't know where to go. Uh, she is making the most out of this starting job for coach Timothy Santo Tomas. And that's inside for Remy Palma. Earlier we saw Chi side with her long ball tip in that corner pocket, zone five. We see this again by Remy Palma targeting zone five. That's a great serve. Two point lead for the Angels. Short serve, but Rondina gets to it. Long back sets. 
to Tolentino. Saet does the same to Maiza Padillas, and she scores. That moves, going for that sharp cross-court attack. Great swing. And this forces coach Dante Alinsunurin to call for time. This team down by three. As he reminds uh, the ladies, they're only down by three points. But Palma continues to serve here for the Angels. It's 17 to 14. Nice serve. Galdones takes advantage. So over receive by Ponce. Keep in mind, I did mention this earlier, the service of the Angels are much stronger. They are really trying to eliminate their offense. Shaky first ball so far. Four-point lead now for the Angels. Another good serve for Palma. Well, Petrga is not the best uh, set up there, but nonetheless, they get a point. See a miscommunication between Isa Molde and Tang Ponce. Sabete is known for her cross-court attacks. Great hustle by Chi Saed. Palma continues to serve well for the Angels. It's a five-point lead now. Another run for Petrogaz. They look to add to that with this attack from Sabete. Wong sets up the play. Molde. Side to the pickup. Maizu Pontilias with a drop on the other side. Now the offense of the Chocomucha Flying Titans is being easily read yeah. by the Petrogas Angels. The Angels knew that Molde was going to go for that tip, but Pontilias going for that tip as well. And it's six straight points now for Petrogas who are eager to end this losing skid. Oh, this time it's short for Remy Palma. It's a lucky point for the Chocomucha Flying Titans. They're down five. If you're wondering why she was there for a long time, Remy Palma is number six wow. in terms of service here in our conference. Meanwhile, Regina Rocha enters the game. As a serving specialist. No, this is not the easiest of tasks. You're coming from the bench. You're not as warm as your teammates on the court. But I mean, this is the role that you have to embrace with open arms. Right, and she has to give up the heavy serves. Now that her team is down by five, Maiza Pontilias is checked. Oh, Sabete miss hits. She had the right idea for going for that off-speed attack, but just a, t a little bit too short. You don't see that too often. Yep. Rare error by Sabete. So back to back points for Chocomucho. Good entry there for Regine Arocha as he conti she continues to serve. They go to the other side. The push. Wong goes to the middle. Saved by Barbon. Another one for Wong. Back row attack from Rondina. Still alive. Soltones does the same. Sabete goes up. Wanting beaten. But it's still playable. It's still good. And the push by Zapotilias. 
We see a hole in the defense of the Chalkamucha Flying Titans. Zone one and zone five have been their target. That long ball tip, and it's very much affected for the Angels. That's really, those are the instances where you think it's not all about the power. Yes, but the placement. Mm. Only the vets can do that. <laughs> it takes a certain number of uh, games before you realize that you can do those. That's right. Meanwhile, Madayag answers back. Now I remember being teammates with Mari Madayag. That is the set that she likes. Not too high, but just right above the net. Would that be a quick attack? She has an explosive approach. She doesn't like when the set is slow. Yeah. She wants it super fast. Oh, you, you've you spent some time with these yes. ladies on the side of Chocomucho. Not just for one conference in, uh, with the Flying Titans, but also back in Ateneo. In college, that's yeah. right. Isaac Pontillas with the attack error. And Chocomucho cuts the lead down to three. Pontillas going for that zone two. Also too short, just like Sabeta earlier. 18 to 21, Tolentino. Good serve. They go to Sabete. And he scores off the block. Kill block by Jonas Sabete. And you would think that Chisad would not set Sabete because her blockers are very tall, but yeah. the trust that Chisad has for Jonas Sabete is super high. Right, just like how she jumps super yep. high. <laughs> <laughs> the elevation. Oh, that's an ace. Just the timing of the unforced errors by Cici yeah. Rondina. It kind of breaks your momentum. Keep saying this, the service of the Petrogas Angels are much stronger than before. Because it always starts with the serve. Yeah. That's your first attack of offense. And first chance to score a point. Yep. You got to be smart. Sabete. This time a better receive from Molde. Joust at the net. Almost won by Sultones. It's now with the Angels. Galdones with the offhand. Tolentino from the back. Naiyang at ni Maizu Pontillas. Galing sa likod, Jonas Sabete does the same. And Petrogas has arrived at set point. That's a great swing by Jonas Sabete. Single block on Mari Madayag. Targeting that outer hand of yeah. Mari. A comfortable six point advantage for the Angels. Rodina able to chase. A free ball given up. Sayat going for the finish. And <laughs> she Sayat with a smile as she knew what she wanted to do in that play. That's right. Very calm and collected. Also, like their other setter, Chang. I mean, you're giving the Angels a free ball. Nice shot again. That counts. Yep. That's <laughs> inside, says she Sayat. Set one goes to the Petrogas Angels, 25 to 18.
inside the Echo Oil Arena in San Juan as we continue our coverage of the Premier Volleyball League second All-Filipino Conference and the matchup between the Petrogas Angels and the Choco Mucho Flying Titans set number one just finished and the Angels look good in that set, uh, Jamie. Not only do they look good, they look well-rested. They, they had a one-week break. You see Chi Saed running the offense for today, setting her middles, Galdones, Remy Palma. Now on the side of the Choco Mucho Flying Titans, they do not have that first ball down. That is because the Petrogas Angels have been serving much stronger than before. And, you know, this is a neck-and-neck -neck battle, but we can't underestimate the vet moves of the Petrogas Angels. Of course, you can continue to watch and enjoy the games over on Filipinas Live as we take a look at the numbers and the story of what happened in set number one. See the huge disparity of attacks. 18 with the Angels, 9 with the Chocomucha Fine Titans. A lot of the attacks of the Chocomucha Fine Titans are not being converted into points. And you, all, you see that the Angels actually have more opponent yeah. errors. But if the Chocomucha Fine Titans work on their attacks, I think they need more sets to the middle. The yeah. offense is being a little bit too predictable only because Dina Wong is forced to bump set. And when you bump set, it's obvious. Yep. It's obvious. And Petro guys took advantage of those instances in yep. set number one. For the Choco Mucho Flying Titans, uh, we've mentioned they're on a five-game winning streak after losing their first one against Creamline on the opening day of the PVL. Meanwhile, for Petro guys, one four straight. Did not drop a set. And then eventually, their last three games, they've lost. The Flying Titans, they haven't dropped a set uh, since that game back uh, in October 15. So that's been a while now. It's been a while. That's more than a month. <laughs> yeah, their last, their last, their first loss was the opening day yeah. against the yeah. Cream Line Cool Smashers. A month and a day yep. that they are flawless. But for Chocomucha, they've kept, they've kept most of their core, right? And Coach Timmy is not a stranger to this team because Coach Timmy Santo Tomas was actually in the bubble with you guys. Yes, he was the assistant coach, uh, assistant coach of Coach Oliver Almadro. So I'm sure he knows the tricks, the patterns uh, of iba. the Flying Titans. Yeah, iba yung system ni Coach Dante Elisinuri, but the players. Very different. Nadyo alam niya yung laro ng Their patterns. former teammates yep. mo, Jamie. So let's see if they will continue to get those reads as Maizu Pontillas draws first blood in set number two. Gotta keep in mind that Chisad will go for her vet players. And actually, most of them on the court are vet players. You did mention this. Galdonis and Barbon are the only ones who are kind of new to the team. Yep. And when you have a lot of vet players, you don't need to think too much. You just look at your teammate and you already know what to do. Yeah, and that just goes to show the importance of the continuity of That's a right. program, of a system as Petrogas with a chance to attack, and Sabete gets her first point of set number two. She has nine in total already. The past two sequences, first was on Cherry Nunag, next was on Pat Tolentino. The blocking of the Chocomucho Flying Titans needs to be a bit more stable because they're going up against yeah. very smart spikers. Yeah, and uh, Rondina trying to encourage her teammates she is leading the way with four points. Tolentino able to get that through. Took a great swing by Tolentino going for that long ball in zone six. Well, she is now the leading scorer for Chocomucho with five. Cherry Nunag is back on the court. Side continues to be the center for the black shirts. Wong sets up the play. Molde had to adjust. Saet back sets. Maizu Pontillas with the right wow. hand. That is not her strong hand, by the way. Uh, as you said this to Kyla Kingsu for this report. Kyla? But Jamie, patience is the one word that echoed all throughout my conversation with Gretsch Sultan. 
finals of the Petrogas Angels earlier this afternoon. In her words, we can practice and master all the plays that we want, but in the end, it all boils down to the patience we have during long rallies and in the end game. Something we continue to lack this conference. Gretsch tells me that it is now or never. She says that with their losing streak, there are no excuses para mawala ng pasensya if they want to make the semis. Now, Dip and Jamie, you probably noticed the white ribbons of the Petrogas Angels and these are actually dedicated to Remy Palma's father who passed away a few days ago. And so this win would mean so much more than just redemption. Now, with that said, will Gretchen and her girls manage to play with a maturity that we know that they have and get back to their winning ways? Well, you can find out on the Pilipinas Live app. Get the most extensive PBL coverage all in one app. Catch the games live in main view, multicam, and fan stream on selected games. Download the app from Google Play, Apple Store, or via PilipinasLive.com. Register now for free. Now back to you, Dip and Jamie. Thank you, Kyla, for that report. First of all, our deepest condolences yep. to Remy Palma and her family as we send our prayers in this uh, tough time. But with how she's playing right now, I'm sure her father is pretty happy seeing the Petrogas up by the side and she's doing well. That's right. You see a change of demeanor, a very positive light for Remy Palma. She, we did mention this before in the fan stream when we played up against her in college. She was yeah. that player that would have those looks, yeah. we would get a little bit annoyed, but you see the maturity in her game, and it's grown all because of her setters. Yeah, she is a tough woman. Yep. She is showing it. And that's not easy, huh, Jamie, to be playing. That's right. Despite that, we know that May Luna had this uh, that's right. same thing. The other we day. We send our condolences to May Luna, who got their first uh, win. Against Akari. Yep. yep. That just goes to show the fighting spirit of these athletes. And their second one earlier. Yep, that's right. It's for all here in set number two. Rondina unleashes and scores. It's a great swing by CC Rondina. Powering through that block. Checking out, rather. Yeah. Now, Dina will maximize the blockers on the other side. She said it's not the tallest of blockers. That is Dina's strategy. Nice serve. Saeed. Bit short for Galdones. Sabete ups it. Soltones right on the line for Getzel Soltones. I mentioned this earlier in the first set. We see a trend of attacks by the Angels. That long ball attack. Zone one or zone five. See a hole in the defense of the yeah. Chocomucho Fang Titans. And this is somewhat uh, the same situation in set number one. We started out close before Petrogas started to pull away. <laughs> Coach Dante <laughs> playing dodgeball. <laughs> Boy, pa, si Coach Dante, may, may life pa. <laughs> he jumped. <laughs> A point goes to the Flying Titans. My nice serve. That one is inside for Madi Madayag. Dip, I remember back in Ateneo, we would have specific drills where there would be tape right above the net, a short space, and the serve had to be right above the net. And that was Maddie's serve that we just witnessed. And that one also right above the net. <laughs> no? Yep. Those are hard to read. Very hard. Rondina sent back. Wong. This time goes to Molde. Put an angle to that, but Petrogas keeps it alive. Rejected though by Cherry Nunag. That's a great kill block. I believe this is their first kill block in the second set. Chocomucho, I mean, they're not in the higher ranks of blocking, but they are known for their blocking. Cherry Nunak making her presence felt. Maiza Pontilias will set it up. It's back with the Angels, Palma. Going for those attacks, but it did not work that time around. It's an obvious read by the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Chocomucho Flying Titans slowly gaining that momentum in the second set. And their lead is now up to four points. Another good serve for Maddie. Picked up by Tolentino. Wong chooses Nunag. 
Saved by Barbon. Bumps it. Rondina with a tough angle. Soltones, the tip. No. Wong to Rondina. Yes. Now this is where the familiarity comes between Dina Wong and CC Rondina. You see that CC Rondina was the one who played defense there. It's a given that Dina Wong will shoot this set not too far out. Yeah. Familiarity. This prompts coach Timothy Santo Tomas to call for time. Angels as they find themselves down by five. It's Chocomucho's turn to start off quickly here in set number two. But a while ago, they were exchanging runs. Let's see if the Angels can respond after that timeout. Saet. It was almost kept alive, but Chocomucho gets the point. Now, this is the best part about watching sports in general you see the change of momentum how it can just shift i mean the momentum was on the side of the chocolate of the angels in the first set but now it's all on the side of the titans what do you think switched uh here in set number two for choco mucho why all of a sudden they playing like this against better guys they knew that they had to side out right away a lot of their attacks weren't being converted into points they had a huge gap in terms of attacks in the first set but going for that side out right away is what's helping them and better service reception right. we saw Mandy Madayag a while ago where she got her ace but Petragas was able to get a point just a while ago Rondina what saved team. by Sabete and Soltones going for that cross court attack CC Rondina was actually a little bit too forward we all know that Soltones goes for that sharp cross court they did by Sabete so that was a nice save see CC was a little bit too forward Wong goes to Molde from the back Barbon was there Maizu Pontilias continues to do the same. And Nunag, that one was way out. The set of Dina Wong was a little bit too high. Yeah, Nunag had to adjust, extend her arm. And now it's three straight points for the Angels to cut the lead down to three. Eight serving 11. Nice serve. Dina goes to Cherry again. Ooh. See, now that's the set that Munag likes. Not too far off the net. Let's see that replay. It's a single block. Also, a, that was a net yeah. by Remy Palma. 12 to 8 is the score. Saeed. Goes to Soltones as she breaks the block. Now Soltones is actually coming from the right pin in that rotation. But, I mean, going for that cross-court attack. You can just see the athleticism yeah. of Soltones, whether it's on the right pin or left pin. Soltones leads all Petrogaz Angels in terms of scoring. It's a free ball given up. But Barbon was unable to recover from that block. You have the twin towers on the side of the Titans, Tolentino and Nunak. You gotta outsmart that block. And this leads us to this technical timeout. Chocomucho up by four.
Experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set, spike, dig, and block. Live in HD and on demand anytime, anywhere, and on any device via Filipinas Live app. Download and register now. It's the Choco Mucho Flying Titans up by four points over the Petragas Angels. All smiles for them as Dina Wong distributing the ball pretty well for the Flying Titans. In that category for best setters, Dina Wong is actually number two. Right behind Kyle Negrito. Heading into this matchup, and Rodina will be the one to serve. Now this is the most consistent we've seen Dina Wong compared to her past few conferences. Yep. She's more confident in setting her middles. And in terms of the accuracy of the set, it's more on point than before. Right, and uh, that really helped her team a lot, which is why they yep. sit at the 5-1 record. Osabete oh, continues to score. That is her 10th point of the game. Panma with a serve. Overseed by Ponce. But it's back with Chocomucho. Balde unable to get that. Maiza Pontillas goes cross court, but that's outside. Going for that sharp cross court. I mean, that could have gone either way. Yeah. Very close to the to the line. But she did have the right move. She knew that there was a hole in the block. Nice serve. Saed goes back to Maiza Pontillas, oh. and this time she scores. Now Chisai knows that in order to get that side out, I'm going to go to the vets right away. And that's a smart move. Great receive by Sultanes. In the bow, we are good. Yep. And being a lefty opposite, you don't know where your spike will go. Cross court, sharp cross court, or down the line. Difficult to read and block. That's the advantage that she has. Uh, Tolentino also has that advantage. She can get up high with all that length. Height and might for Pat Tolentino. And that is the set she likes as well. Not too high, not too low, and near the net. Nice serve. to 11 for Saed. Goes to the running to Galdones. Sabete runs. Ponce with the pickup. Here comes Madayag on the running spike. Sabete goes up. Rondina saves it. Bolde. Jonah again will try. And this time it works. Sabete outsmarting the block of the Chocomucha Flying Titans. When you look at the left pin and right pin of the Angels, she side has a lot of options there. I mean, you have Sabete on the left, you have Galdones and Aiza. Yeah. All those options for yep. G-Side. Who's looking for another championship for her team. She mentioned that a year ago before wow. she wants to retire. It's gonna be over. And Molde able to score. Molde going for that down the line. And keep in mind, Molde did not start in any of the first games because Deschang was there. But you see her stepping up. She was player of the game in one of their matches. But great spot of going down the line. Melissa Molde, top scored in that game against Akari along with Mandy Madayag. Both of them had 13 points wow. each. Nice serve. Saet goes to Sultanes. See the precision of the set of Chi Saet, giving her spikers that hitting point. Let's see that replay. All right between the blockers. Perfect set. Mari Madayag late in that rally. Nobody home for the Flying Titans as Galdones prepares to serve. She has three points so far. 
Wong looks ahead, goes to Madayag for the running spike. Perfect execution by Maddie with her classic running attack, going for that down the line. Nobody home on the side of the Angels. This is the second time that it's happened in this rally. They're just towering over Grecia Soltones. And a four-point lead for the Flying Titans. One, two, does not work for Saeed. Dondina. The same by Sabete. Which draws the reaction from the crowd. Then it talks again on TV. Jump dick. Frog splash. <laughs> <laughs> that was a crazy day. <laughs> was John? I really think Jonas Sapete was a former gymnast in her past life. Oh my goodness! We've seen her many times with her with those acrobatic moves. That that was the flexibility. <laughs> Oh, there's a challenge on the floor. A block touch is what Petrogas is asking for as we listen a bit to this huddle. No block touch. No block touch. Uh, based on the replay, so it's going to be an un unsuccessful challenge for Petrogas. Alam ko na ata ano yung pinaghahandaan ni Jonas Abete. Malapit na kasi yung <laughs> cheer dance competition sa She's, she's prepping, yeah. She's Napakita niya. Her moves. <laughs> it's a five-point lead for the Flying Titans. It's Maddie Madayag. Continuing to serve 18 to 13 here in set number two. Soltones breaks that dry spell. Soltones. I mean, when you need that side out, you go to Grecho Soltones. Lisa Molde, too far in terms of defense. You have to be able to read that. She's yeah. too far back in zone six. How do you make sure that you get to place yourself, especially if you have a check? Is there a way to really... You have to look at the block first. Mm. If there's a hole in the block, and that's when you gauge after. You can't have a set position all the time, especially in that past sequence, but you have to be able to read it quick enough. So it's not just the attacker of the other side that you're looking at. It's the also blocking. your blocking On your time, yeah. yeah. That's why there are many sequences where the defense would actually talk to the blockers and say, oh, this spiker is going down the line. Yeah. Move more to the antenna. It's all about that communication. And an adjustment, of course. Yep. Meanwhile, Maizu Pontilias able to get that point back to back for Petrogas. Another another chance here for them. Sultones picked up by Tolentino. High set to Rondina. Sabeti had to chase. Colliding with Sultones. Wong to Luna, and the connection works. Now, the connection of Dina Wong and Cherry Nunag has been perfect this second set. Whether the receive is off the net or on the net for Dina Wong, she will still set it without the quick attack. Nunag has been efficient so far. He's got four points, three of those here in set number two. The dive by Ponce, and it's kept alive. The chance for Chocomucho. Ponce to Rondina. Wow. You can hear that snap of the wrist. That's a perfect set by Ponce as well. Remy Palma. Ponce with that beautiful pancake during that rally. And that is why that wow. Ponce is number one wow. in both uh, defensive categories, in digging and receiving. Wow. And just to think, this is her first time starting yeah. in this conference after the VTV Cup. Yeah, she is showing out. Yep. She's popping off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, but that time around, Soltones blocking off the attack of Catalipino. Yeah, we can't underestimate. We did mention this earlier in the pregame that even if the Chaco Mucho Flying Titans are in a much higher rank than the Angels, we cannot underestimate the vet experience yeah. of the squad. Yeah, Soltones serving a good one. And Petrogas with a good read as that sails out. You can see that they are targeting Issa Molde for that serve. Petrogas are now still still in it, down three. And I don't think Coach Dante has used his timeout. I think he's signaling that pag naka isa pang point, yep. yung Petrogas. Ponce going after that. Petrogas will try to take advantage. Wong back sets. Sayat does the same. Maiza Pontilias will score. Maiza does not have the strongest of approach, but I mean the elevation. Not as explosive, rather, but just that soft touch. Yeah, just enough. Yes. To get that through, and as it drops, lead is down to two. Timeout, Choco Mucho. Guys, ang stop natin, yung transition natin, nawawala. Sabi ko sabi ko sabi, the more na maganda yung transition natin, nakapagpapot tayo ng tutos. Okay, okay, sige, sige. Stop tayo, stop tayo! Ang maganda pasa! Eh, Chobo Chobo! Watch the NBA 2K League APAC Invitational Tournament presented by Signal this November 17 and 18 at 4.30 p.m. live only on NBA TV Philippines and Filipinas Live. Chocomucho calling that timeout. Coach Dan is smelling trouble as Petrogas slowly creeping in. That's right. What we got from that timeout of Coach Dante, he did mention that the squad is not doing that well in terms of transition, which means when the ball gets back to their side. Yeah. And with a team like the Angels who thrives on counter attack, this is when you got to play your best. Well, they're unable to respond after that timeout. That's four straight points now for the Petrogas Angels. And now they're only down by one. Soltones with gotta, the serve. You got to play your best towards the end. When you're yeah. when you're nearing the 20 mark, that is when you got to play your best. And, and those errors are not part of your best. That's right. I mean, just the timing of the errors. You can make a few in the start, first to five, but they've been at this 20 mark for yeah. quite some time. Yeah. They were up 20 to 15. But at the same time, you can't be complacent. This is where that vet mindset that the Angels have Staying calm all throughout, staying patient. But, you know, Cato Latino ending that run. Uh, Cato Latino delivering the much needed point for the Flying Titans. As they retake the lead 21 to 20. Great swing by Cat, targeting Chisaed. Rondina with a serve. Saed goes to Palma. Wong with a save. Rondina. Wow. Flying from the back. Tolentino. The save by Maiza Pontilias, another one. And somebody clipped the net. Sabete, I believe, in yep. that rally. You can see her frustration. Was that the violation? She touched net the touch. Yeah. Yep. Chocomucho answering with two straight points. Naibalik ni Molde. Maiza Pontilis again. Blocked. Molde doing wonders. Give credit to Molde in that rally. She was able to read that tip of Aiza. And going for that block. But, I mean, this is the first time that there's a kill block yeah. against Aiza in, in the second set. Well, she did that twice. First one was a check. Next one was a kill block. Well, Sabete has been 
delivering the goods for the Petrogas Angels. That was her 13th point of the match. They needed that side out. They need to gain that momentum. I mean, it's nearing the end of the second set. Petrogas down by two, but Chocomucho only needs two points serve. to equalize and get a set. Side to Sabete. All the upset. Wong to Rondina. Pama. Nothing there for Petrogas. Wong with a tough set. One hand dig by Sultones. Sabete. That is inside for Jonas Sabete. Great defense by both squads, but you see Sabete finishing it off with that sharp cross court attack. And nothing you could really do if that was the angle, right? Medyo dulo dulo na yun. That's right. Ponce not in the right defensive position. Yeah. And she thought that was going up. Yep. One point game here in set number two. Palma with a serve. I nice serve. A good receive from Rondina. Tolentino set back. No. We are tied at 23 all. No coverage on the side of the Chocomucho Flying Titans. They know the patterns of the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Usually, Tat Tolentino mm. is their go to spiker. You have CC Rondina yeah. in the back row. It might be too risky to go for that back, back row attack, but they know that the go to is Tat. And they will maximize on their block, and they are number three in the league. Well, let's see what adjustment will Chocomucho and Dino Wong make. Well, first, they need to get a good receive. One hand set to Nunag. It's kept alive. Chance ball. Wong looks ahead. Ball there on the attack. I spoke too soon. Dino Wong went for Issa Molde. In that rally, the block was fooled on the side of the Angels. Only Isa was there for that block. Well, that's a good matchup we're witnessing between Molde yep. and Maiza Puentilias. Isa Molde with five points all here in the second set. And Regine Arocha with an all-important serve for the Flying Titans. Very crucial at that. Saeed. To Maiza Pontilias. It's still good. And Chocomucho finished the set. And Cam Tolentino with the emphatic kill. Great swing by Tolentino. No block was found on the side of the Angels. Great setting decisions by Dina Wong. Not too predictable. She went to Isa in the previous sequence. Galdones in the past two rallies was not even up for the block. And the celebrations for the Flying Titans have been high this game up. One set apiece, set number three when we return.
the PBL, you are still watching this exciting matchup between the Chocomucho Flying Titans and the Petrogas Angels. Now let's hear from Erika Raagas as she invites her hometown Kababayan to the exciting CDO Games this Saturday. Hi mga taga-Cagayan! Invite na kumong tanan, magtaan ako sa atong dula sa Convention Center karong November 18. Kalaban na mo ang Jerfloor Defenders. Excited na kayo ko na magdula diha o makita ta mo tanan. Unta excited food mo. Bye! See you there! We're back inside the Eco Oil Arena in San Juan as we invite you all to continue to watch our games over on Filipinas Live. New streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for only 149 pesos. You saw Eric Caracas invite you guys to watch PBL, which is happening this weekend at the Aquilino Cuban Intel Junior International Convention Center. But first things first, the game's still at uh, on hand here, Jamie. Chocomucho striking back here in set number two. That's right, in set number two, the Chocomucho Flying Titans have had better attacking. In terms of transition, they are able to fool the blocking of the Angels. Now on the side of the Angels, quite a few unforced errors, miscommunications in this second set, but both squads, I mean, this is a heated battle yeah. between both teams. As we see the set two stats, Attacks, 18 on the side of the Angels, 14 on the side of the Titans, but those six airs, what we don't see, what they don't show, are the timing yeah. of the airs. I mean, the misreceive, the Mr. those are little, the little things that gauge the momentum of your squad, and the Angels had a difficult time getting that momentum in the second set. And I think uh, Petra guys also had 18 attacks in set number one, it's just that Jongmu Jo was able to up their game on that department, yeah. also with their blocking in set number two. There were quite a couple of scares, you know, Petra yeah. guys came back, but then at the end of it, Jongmu Jo able to hold off. As we welcome you all to set number three here on Filipinas Live and on One Sports, Dip Dip Yako with Jamie LaVittoria calling this match, and her courtside reporter is Kaila Kingsu. Sayed, able to pick it up. Sabete. Walk up to Molde. High ball for Sabete. She approaches, but she is blocked by Cherry Nunag. Nunag with a kill block. They know the patterns of Sabete going for that cross court attack. She sat still running the offense of the Angels. I mean, she was trapped in that rally. First point goes to Chocomucho, and that, that wasn't easy what they did when Petro Gaz was climbing back. The pressure was there. That's right. Even when Coach Dante called for time as Sabete miss hits, when he called for time, they still weren't able to stop the run right away of Petro Gaz, where the Angels scored two straight, tied it at 20 all. But talk about how difficult that was to stop the momentum of the Angels. I mean, the Angels being such a vet team, you really have to have that laser focus. I mean, every point counts. You have to get that side out right away. Yeah. And in order to do that, Dina Wong has to run her offense smoothly. More sets to the middles, not being too obvious on who she's going to set. Earlier in the second set, I did say that Kat is her go-to spiker, but she actually went to Issa Molde in that yeah. rally and then finished it off with Kat. So we right. do see much improvement by Dina Wong pulling the block of the Angels. Well, she adjusted pretty well. Yep. And the defense, the net defense of Molde helped also. That's right. At that crucial stretch. On Isa. Oh, yeah. Yep. Amaiza Portillas. This time, she gets a point. The first one for Petrogas in this set. Being that lefty, you can go for that sharp cross court. And that is what she did in this replay. I mean, it's difficult to block Aiza because she's left-handed. And you could see the block of the Chocomucho Flying Titans. It's a little bit too inside. And that's the difficult part of blocking Aiza because you don't know where she's going to go. Yeah. And point 
goes to Chokomucho and a chance for us to give this to Kyla Kingsu for this report. Kyla? Dip and Jamie, what a set number two we had. And you and I know that we expected nothing less tonight. You know, we saw a much more aggressive and dangerous version of the Chokomucho Flying Titans. Now to recap, these two teams last face one another in a five-setter last July 15, a game that definitely matches the intensity of the one we're covering right now. And when I asked Cece Rondina what she remembers most about that game, she answered that it was the top-level composure they held on to, taking that win home. Now, fast forward to today, I asked Cece what she's most excited for, and in her words, she said, and I quote, excited akong lumaban at harapin ko ang sino mga magiging pinakamatibay sa side nila tonight. And you know, her performance so far is no surprise as it is a clear testament to her dedication to her craft. Cece shared that in the past week, araw-araw niyang nireview ang laro ng Petrogas in preparation for today. Now, with that said, let's see if Cece, the rest of the girls, can carry their momentum into this third set. Now, this report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app. Get the most extensive PBL coverage all in one app. Catch all the games live in main view, multicam, and fan stream on selected games. Download the app from Google Play, Apple Store, or via pilipinaslive.com. Register now for free. Now, back to you, Dippin' Jamie. Thank you, Kyla, for that report. Well, these two have a bit of history, as mentioned by Kyla, the five-setter where Choco Mucho won. That was the first conference yep. of Cici Rondina after coming back from beach volleyball. And, and for her, grab yung preparation niya to, to watch really, to, of course, do her homework and yep. see how Petrogas really plays. That's right, Kyla did mention that Cici's talked about top composure, right? Whether you're up five points whether you're down five points it's still the same your composure demeanor should still be the same and you see that they're gelling well with the system of coach dante i mean they're used to coach oliver in terms of system but coach dante i think he's a good fit for the titans and cc rondina able to deliver that last point there's a rotation error on the part of petro guys and we don't see this all yeah. the time. So they're trying to figure out. So that's a sorry mistake for the Angels as they give up a free point for the Flying Titans, one that they would look back at if the Flying Titans end up winning this set in a close one. Last, lack of verse action in that rally by Galdones. Chakumucho up five points. Eight serving three. Nice serve. Oh, that drops. With the top of the net. Yeah, that is the second service ace for Maddie Madayag. See the Angels having a their own timeout amongst themselves. Uh, all those practices you mentioned, Jamie, yep. with the tape. <laughs> I wonder if Maddie practiced that specific <laughs> serve. <laughs> right above the net, it's paying off. Wow. Uh, Sultanis gives Petra guys a point. Ending that run, Sultanis going for that down the line. Perfect set by Chisai. See the hole in the block. You have not seen Kaylin Barai no. and also Bea De Leon as well. For Choco Mucha. Yep. We also know for Petra guys that Rania Musa will not be playing yep. in this game. And she played so well in that uh, match against F2. That's right, we covered that together. She had, I remember that, yep. Last game against, or the la last win that they had back in Santa Rosa as Wong. Will be on deck to serve. 10 to 4. Sayet goes to Palma. Straight to Molde. Rondina waiting for the ball. Soltonis again will try. Good dig by Dino Wong. And a solid wow. hit. Barbon does the same. Rondina had to adjust. Soltonis finds the spot. Gretel just smiling it off. The set was a little too tight. I mean, both teams were actually scrambled in this sequence, but also Ponce not in that 10-foot line. 
Captain Chi Saet will be the one to serve, 5 to 10. It's the first time they've trailed this much early on in the set. Sultones, that's outside. You actually see the vet moves by Sultones. The set was a little bit too off the net, and she knew right away that she would have to target that long ball, yeah. but the execution was just a little too strong in that rally. But you can see the quick sinking of Sultones. Bondina able to up it. Tolentino recovers. And she gives up a free ball. Palma. Wong again with a save. Molde. Saeed chooses Soltores. It's still with the black shirts. Long rally ongoing. Sabete with a save. Who will get this point? Molde with a tip. No. And that ends with a point off the block from Getzel Sultones. Sultones had two blockers on her in that rally, but was able to outsmart them, checking it out, touching the hands of Issa Molde, going for her outer hand, or her left hand, rather. That was the longest rally in this entire match. <laughs> yes, it was. 12 points on 10 attacks, one block and one ace. Make that two aces for Sultores. You know, that actually happened on the Chocomucha side, but I mean, a point is a point. And you know that Sultones uh, did not mean that on purpose. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You like the honesty? Sometimes yes. Sing, yep. So being, nah, I did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Only if it's in your favor. <laughs> <laughs> Valentino, what a dig by Syed. Chance here for Chocomucho. Here comes Molde on the attack. And the score. I believe the Angels will call a challenge. This is the first challenge in this third set. Yeah. And the second for Petrogaz in this match. A while ago, they were unsuccessful when they asked for a block touch. This time, Coach Timmy was quite sure, you know, based on yep. his reaction, yep. uh, outside now. So let's see, based on the replay. Well, his team is down by four points. I'm sure they're happy with what they have accomplished, dropping or giving the first. Oh, Ooh. inside. So close. And in that rally, the only option that Issa Molda had was going down the line. I mean, no defense in that zone one. Long ball attack. Well, the second part of that is at least that nice could uh, give them a break. Let's see if they can respond. But to no avail, Molde on the attack. Side back sets. Maizu Pontilla, still nothing. Back of the net. Sabete sends it back. Oh, now beaten. Too short by CC Rondina. Right idea, but the timing. She was going for that tip. Just a little short in that execution. Chocomucha has to be careful again with Petrogas getting on these runs. Yep, yep. That happened in the second set, second but set. the Chocomucha oh, Flying Titans were able to get that set, yes. but you can't be too lax yeah. in this third set. Yeah, especially when Remy Palma is on the service line. It is expected that when Remy Palma is at the service line, she will give tough serves. Dippy did mention that she's number six in serving. Yeah. Nine serving, 12. Ponce ups it. Isa on the attack. It's back with Chocomucho. 
Boldy again, denied, but oh, it's through, rather. And that was a hard angle for Issa Molde, but she made away. The blocking of the Angels was a little bit too far off the net. And she sends us to this technical timeout. The Flying Titans are up by four. Sports app na Pilipinas Live. Mapapanood na ang PBA Season 48 live in high definition and on demand on any device available worldwide. Download and register now for free. As we revisit the Pilipinas Live poll question, Jamie, which MVP type player will pop off? <laughs> Today. Shout out me <laughs> for the question. Oh, who's gonna pop off? It's the poll results so far. It's Cici Rodina with a high 84% share of the votes over Getsu Sultones. Uh, we take a look at their stats so far in this game. It's been close. Very close. Ten attacks by Sultones, along with one block, two aces. Cici Rodina with eight attacks. And one block, uh, which is to be remembered <laughs> yep. against Remy Palma. <laughs> right. uh, those are the leading scores for their squads. Rondina is number six in the conference. Soltones is number eight. Action resumes. That's outside for Jonas Abete. She said going for that combination play and first attack. Just a little too wide and too strong by Jonas Abeta. She was trying to avoid the hands of the Chocomucho block. Yeah. Five point lead for Chocomucho. 14 to nine is the score. Said, combination, and this time, Sabete puts it away. See, now that's the attack that I would consider a pop-off attack. Yeah. <laughs> no block found on the side of Chocomucho, late. Rather, Ponce was there for that dig. Great play by Chisayev. Ponce upset to Rondina. Saed goes to Sabete. Bang, saves it. But Molde unable to control. Now, if you saw that rally, Chi Saed is fooling the block of the Chocomucho Flying Titans. Her body is a little bit turned. It actually looked like she was going to set Galdonis for that running attack, but last minute went to Sabete. Mari was not there for that block. Those are vet moves that yeah. not everyone sees. Back to back points for Petrogas to cut the lead down to three. Sultones, Galing Salikud. You know, that actually was going out, but Tolentino touching that in that rally. I believe that's her first point in terms of the back row. Yeah, this has been a pattern, Jamie, wherein Chomo Mucho would lead big, but Petrogas knows how to respond. Yep, trailing behind. Timeout called by coach Dante Alisnuri. Okay, 
The first ever NBA in-season tournament is here. Watch all 30 teams battle it out for the NBA Cup from November 4 to December 9 only on NBA TV Philippines. One Sports and Filipinas Live. Hashtag NBA on Signal. Hashtag always a fan. Ivy Laxina played earlier. That's right. Her team uh, lost in a close one against the Signal HC Spikers. In four sets. Which have, uh, the HC Spikers have been on a roll too. Wong. And finally, Choco Mucho gets a point right before Petrogaz ties this game up. Now a lot of the attack points of Isemode just fooling the block of the Petrogas Angels. Not the strongest of attacks, but I mean, a point is a point. 15 to 13 here in the third set. And a service ace for Isemode. Instant impact by Isamode. We did mention this earlier. This is the most playing time she's had in a while due to Cheng. Yeah, Desiree Cheng, of course, uh, suffering that injury. Yep. Where Isa had to step up. Yep. Sabente trying to go for the 180. There she goes again with her flexibility. <laughs> Ready for cheer dance. <laughs> The lead is back up to four points. Wong sets up the play. Rondina, it's been a while she's gotten the ball. So she's gotten the point and finally it drops. See, see Rondina. She added wrist action in that rally. I mean, finding that hole. When you have such high elevation, I mean, we did talk about this earlier. It's all that beach volley experience. Timeout by the Petrogas Angels. Watch men's volleyball action this 2023 as the Spiker Surf Invitational Conference gets going every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday on One Sports, One Sports Plus, and Filipinas Live. We are about to see the first appearance of Janelle Cheng, but first we see Jo Maraginot and Maji Mawalabnan. Mohan napagod sila dun sa game na kanina. I'm sure they're happy as they have gotten their second win. Yep, that's right. Peaking at the right time. Oh, the high risers, meanwhile, still looking for their first win in uh, this conference. You mentioned Janelle Cheng is now in the ball game para sa Petro Gas. And they get the point. Now, the plus side of having this double substitution is Espina and Cheng are coming from the bench. Yeah. And they're able to fix whatever needs to be fixing on their court. And it also gives the Angels three spikers. That's normally the objective of putting in your double sub. And but that Espina, of course, having played for. De La Salle University. Let's see what they can bring to the table as Petrogaz will try to catch up, but Madayag adds another point for Chocomucho. Now that's the first A quick attack that we've seen by Mari Madayag. Isamolde with that perfect receive. Galdones not knowing where to go on that block. Nineteen to fourteen. Cheng bumps it, Soltones. They want to a small talk, Pasolini, Sisi Rondina. 
Tinamaan mo eh, sabi ni Gretchel. <laughs> Hindi ah. Sabi ni Sisi. Outside. I mean, you never know the acting skills of these players. <laughs> Trying to make the officials believe. Yep. <laughs> but they know better. <laughs> yep. <laughs> game Caldones will be the one to serve this is the same point wherein Petrogas was able to go on a 5 to 0 run and as I say that that ends right. already and this is crunch time for both squads I mean the Petrogas Angels are down 6 Dina Wong with 10 excellent sets so far. Cheng to Palma. Naingat ni Molde. Ponce to Tolentino. Cheng transfers to the other side to Espina. Back at the net. Wong back to Kat. And it drops for Kat Tolentino. That's a smart move by Kat Tolentino. Targeting the hands of Gretchen Soltones. And they are up. I mean, they're very close to possibly getting this third set. And the vets uh, giving Bila Barbo and the instructions of where she should be yep, yep. for the coverage. Soltones adjusting. Rondina was ready for the attack. You know, I have to give credit to Cherry Nunag in that rally. She was able to read the drop ball of Gretro Saltones. And mind you, you're coming from the block. It's not the easiest to get that. I mean, your reaction needs to be very quick. Three straight points for the Flying Titans. Saltones. Wow. Ponce with a good dig. Rondina with a cherry bomb. It's a team effort in that rally. Ponce, I mean, in terms of digging, perfection. I mean, coming from that combination play. What more can you ask for? Good defense. Perfect defense. <laughs> Better offense. Chocomucho is back at set point. I mean, over receive by Gretchen Saltones. Smart plays by the Titans. Not too long as Chocomucho ends this one on a five-point blast. Lunag sending that down and giving Chokomuja the advantage, two sets to one. Streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for only 149 pesos. And if you have not registered and downloaded Filipinas Live, you have to because we are having a ball game here inside the Echo Oil Arena. Choco Mucho, after dropping the first set, have responded and won two straight, Jamie, and they lead right now over the Petrogas Angels.
Now in this set three, in terms of Dina orchestrating the offense beautifully, we have to talk about Dang Quantes digging. And without her digging, the offense would not be running smoothly for the Chocomucho Fine Titans. Also, we have the middle blockers, Mari Madayag, Cherry Munak, perfecting their A quick attack and B quick attack. Now, on the side of the Angels, they had a difficult time getting that side out. They are targeting Barbon when it comes to service received. She's having a difficult time being in the right position at the right time. Yeah, and Dan Ponce is getting the better of that matchup. We take a look at the numbers. So different from the first two sets for the Petrogas Angels. And what stands out here for you, JB? The opponent errors on the side of the Angels. Ten errors. For me, clean volleyball is having five or less errors per set. But the Chocomucho Fine Titans being dominant in terms of attacking with 12 and only eight from the Angels. And we need more attack points on the side of the Angels, and we see she saw it. Yeah. Still running the offense for the Angels in this fourth set. Now, this is a test for the Chocomucho Fine Titans if they can execute this, and also a test on the Angels if they can extend it to five sets. A short stint for Janelle Cheng in that set number yeah. three as we welcome you all to set number four here on Pilipinas Live and One Sports. Dip Dip Yanko and Jimmy La Vittoria with you guys to cover this match. And we also have Kyla Kingsu reporting from the sidelines. This point goes to Chocomucho. There's a check ball by Remy Palma in by CC Rondina. Have to give credit to the digging of Ponce. She was able to read the long ball attack of Jonas Abete. I mean, that VTV Cup was able to give her that confidence. And the leading scorer so far, Sabete with 17, Rondina with 13. Dunag gives the second point for the Flying Titans. Now we all know when the momentum is on the side of the Chocomucho Flying Titans, they are difficult to shut down. For those uh, attack points of Pentagas, they lost 10. Yep. Remember, they had 18 in the first two sets. And then That's right. when they get third set, they only 8. Na lang. That's right. And Tolentino right on the line. We've been saying this this entire match. It's not always about power, but placement. Tolentino targeting that zone one spot. And that's the first time she's done this in this entire match. Said back sets to Palma. Rondino was right there. Wong to Molde. And another violation for the Angels. The Angels committing quite too many unforced errors early on in this fourth set. And they can't fall far behind uh, early on, especially with the momentum on the side of Chocomucho. That's right. Uh, Rodina sends that too long. to the service line. He has six points on four attacks and two aces. Wong goes to the middle. Good save by Soltones. Maizu Pontilias. That's outside. Trying to target that sharp cross-court pocket. That zone two but not working just yet in this fourth set. Well, points have been hard to come by for yep. Petra, guys. Only scored 15 in set number three. Saet goes to Sabete. And if there's one person who can deliver, that will be Jonas Sabete. That's right. We did talk about her in the pregame earlier. I mean, the Angels really need to step up now before it's too late. She can't do it alone, though. Pontilias with a serve. Ball there on the attack. Sabete. The hang time. 
Tolentino. Barbon ups it. Jonah again. Oh, trying to find the line there, but doesn't get it as we send this to Kyla Kingsu for this report. Kyla? Dip and Jamie, the Flying Titans, definitely meant business in that previous set with a total team effort from start to finish. Now, we got to feature the Chang sisters in our pregame earlier. And you know, Janelle Chang, who entered for a bit in that third set, told me earlier that even with her sister Des out for the conference, she has really been anticipating and looking forward to facing this new and improved Choco Mucho. And so the past week, she was intentional with how she spent the break, helping her girls address their main lapses that brought forward the three-game losing skid. Specifically, she pointed out that they have a tendency to relax and yet comfortable when they're up. Tapos pag dumikit naman na ang kalaban, kinakapos at nanlalamig sila. And back at the huddle, Coach Timmy didn't waste any time reminding his ladies to be conscious of just that, stressing to snatch, sustain, and protect the lead if they wish to keep their semis aspirations alive. Now, this report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app. Get the most extensive PBL coverage all in one app. Catch all the games live in main view, multicam, and fan stream on selected games. Now, we'll be app from Google Play, Apple Store, and via PilipinasLive.com. Register now for free. Now, back to you, Dip and Jamie. Thank you, Kyla, for that report. Uh, it's all about being intentional. Janelle Cheng tried to do that in that uh, five day break. Meanwhile, we take a look at Chokomucho. Pinapapagpag lang kay Isa Molde. Yung kanyang uh, paadun, sabi ng teammates niya. I like the, the group effort, ha? sabay-sabay yep. sila. Parang choreographed yung ginawa nila dun. Eh. They're ready for cheer <laughs> Everyone is it's ready. It's coming up, it's coming up. <laughs> so, Tones. Her first point of this set. You know, the Petrogas Angels have been trailing behind in most of the sets, and they're having a difficult time getting that side out right away because the Chaco Mucho Fine Titans, when it comes to transition, it is being easily read. They know the movements of the Angels, and they're maximizing that. All different from the back. The Amazon is in the game, by the way, for the Angels. Rondina! I mean, just a team effort by the Titans. Once with the perfect dig yet again. Dina, Dina Wong, rather, running the offense smoothly. Oh, Dina to Rondina. Nice, that rhymes. And the <laughs> Dina must <masasay. laughs> <laughs> Petro Gazion. Nice serve. Side upset to Soltores. Oh, Tiami was there, but nobody there for the second touch. I mean, this is not the usual game of the Petrogas Angels. Movements are not as smooth, as fluid, compared to the Chakamucha Fine Titans. I mean, you can see that the Titans are very much prepared for this match. Soltones finds the hole on the side of Chocomucho. Going for that zone one. Isimolde not ready for that. Tolentino <laughs> from the back. Popped up by Sayat. Here comes Gretzel. Well, Ponce has been stellar with her digs and then Rondina. You know, that, that duo right yeah. there. I mean, Ponce yet again with that perfect dig. And we talked about this earlier. Ponce, no, 17 excellent digs, nine excellent receptions. I mean, Ponce knows the blocking formation of their squad. She knows where to go exactly in terms of defense. That's what we talked about earlier, yeah. Dip. In terms of communication, I mean, your libero has to know the blocking formation of the front row, not just the opponents. Saved by Tolentino. It's still alive. What an effort for Chocomucho, but that is a violation.
violation. Wong sets up the play, goes middle to Rondina. Nunag on the first touch. And Piatura able to save it. Here comes CC again on the push. Side to Tiamzon on her first attempt. No touch. Lack of wrist action in that rally. Chokonucha up by seven points. And uh, this leads us to this technical timeout. Flying Titans up by seven. travel sa CDO para magtanaw sa mong game. Ayaw kalimting uh, mag-smile o mag-cheer up ang uh, kusog uh, para mas ma-motivate pa ang mga players na pagdila. Thank you! Back inside the Eco Oil Arena in San Juan. Mars Alba also still present watching this game between the Petrogas Angels and the Chocomucho Flying Titans. And so far, Flying Titans looking comfortable here in set number four. That's right, smooth sailing on the side of the Titans. Got to commend the digging of Tang Ponce. Nahawa na ibang teammates, even Dina Wong. Playing well on defense. Rondina does the same. Tolentino, unable to turn it into a point just yet. Lion Titans are everywhere. This girl has been soaring and scoring. That's a perfect set by Dina Wong. The set was right in front of the 10-foot line. And because of that, CC Rondina is able to go for that broad jump. High elevation. You can just see the, the passion in their faces. They want to win the set. Rondina has 15 points. Rondillas has 11. But this is a mountain to climb for yep. the Angels, especially with their backs against the wall. They're down by one set. And Palma, who was serving pretty well a while ago, getting her error there. Now this is the first missed serve we've seen Palma. And this is the rotation where the Chocomucha Flying Titans have a difficult time receiving the serve of Remy Palma. We see Reg Arocha actually in the front line. Not sure if that was intended because yeah. a while ago she's been True. subbing Cherry Nunag. And might 
that be the move right there. <laughs> I love watching their reaction. <laughs> I don't think I did do it today, though. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So that's a free point given up to Petro, guys. Portillas will serve. Wong goes to Madayag. Tiamzon. Oh, look at Ponce. The effort was there, just not able to execute properly. That's right, the ball has to still be inside of the antenna. Great effort. Arocha. Saeed on the second touch. Rondina goes up. Regalo para kay Maddie Madayag. Arza with that defense, a little too overpass rather. But Sisi Rondina with that elevation. And Maddie, Maddie Madayag, I mean, that's just three points given mm. to the Titans. Saeed sets up the plate. Yamzon. Dina wow. saves it. It's still good. It's been that tough to score against Chocomucho. That kind of a night. Still nothing. Third try for Tiami. Rondina pops it up. Saved by Petrogaz. CC not allowing any balls to drop on their side of the court. Same with the Angels. Rondina again! Barbon was there. What an exchange we're seeing right now. And Arocha delivers the goods. She's out of breath. Instant impact though by Red Arocha. Beautiful defense on the side of both sides. Oh, I, I think everyone was out of breath of that play. <laughs> An eight-point lead for the Flying Titans and a timeout by Petro, guys. the PBA 3x3 second conference this year every Monday and Tuesday only on one sports PBA Russia Pilipinas live PBA 3x3 lakas ng tatlo do the angels have enough gas left in them good one dip smell smell gas <laughs> for this game it's G-A-Z <laughs> I'm allowed to spell it that way <laughs> But if if there are students listening to us, the right spelling is G-A-S. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> oh, Chocomucho continuing on this scoring run. How do you stop this one? I mean, the Petrogas Angels are having a lot of miscues, rare miscues rather. The familiarity that they have, the yeah. chemistry that they have. It's kind of lost actually in this fourth set, and the Chocomucho Fine Titans are maximizing on this. Have to commend them for their defense. They have prepared well for the Petrogas Angels, and now we have Cheng In. Maybe her style of setting will work in this fourth set. But the Yag sending that ball away for a nine point lead for Chocomucho. Jamie, would you say that? There's a bit more pressure on the part of Petrogas, knowing that they're the ones who have a three-game losing streak. Is it harder for them to get out of that funk compared to Chocomucho going for the six-game winning streak? I mean, you would think because they have that vet experience that they would rise above the losing streak, even if Chocomucho is ranked above them. But you can see that 
Chalk and Mutrifying Titans have improved after each game. They are mastering that chemistry and familiarity that the Petrogas should be showing in right. today's match. I mean, we talked about this earlier in the pregame. We can't underestimate the vet experience by the Petrogas Angels, but the Titans are maximizing on every point. Choco Mucho. They are showing that they can also take on the top teams. They only need six points to win this match. But a couple of errors from Madayag reduces the lead to just six. That's right. Lack of wrist action in that rally. I mean, they still have this cushion, but Coach Dante will call a challenge. Block touch on Gretchel Soltones. This is the first challenge of Chocomucha yep, in the game. Yep. Think, right? So they're asking for a block touch. Once again, Chocomucho, they only got their first loss back in October 15. That's their only loss of the conference so far. Then they won five straight. Did not drop a single set until today, where Petrogas got the first one. But they answered right back with two straight sets. For the Angels, their last win was back in November 2. Against F2. Against F2. And since then, they've lost three straight. Against tough teams, too, again. They, they lost to Cherry Digo. They lost to Signal. They also lost to Cream Line. Block touch. Whoa. So yes, close. On the pinky. Is. <laughs> Good eye by Coach Dante. And you would think that he would just let that slide because they're up by quite a few points. But I mean, every point matters at this point. See, crowd favorite, Bea De Leon in for Cherry Munak. Oh, they finally get to see their captain on yep. the court. She did not see action in that last game against Akari. And the fans being treated to the Bea de Leon appearance. Meanwhile, Soltones gets a point. It was a deadly kill by Soltones going down the line. The set was not too near the antenna. It was, she had right amount, the right amount of space to go for that down the line. Their usual starter orchestrating the offense. Valentino from the back. That is inside for Kat Valentino. You notice the back row sets of Dina Wong. The sets used to be behind the 10 foot line, but because it's in front of the 10, 10 foot line, Dina's spikers are able to elevate and go for that broad jump. That was inside for the Angels. Soltones now with 18 points, tied with Jonas Abete. This is the usual pattern we've seen by the Angels. They're trailing behind, but I mean, there's still a chance. Oh, there's an ace by the Iglesia Soltones. Light Titans not out of the woods just yet. She now has 19 points, three aces. Wong goes to De Leon. Perfect reception by Tan Ponce. Reyes back quick attack. Dina Wong knew to set Bay in that rally. Instant impact. Yep. 22-15. Isa Pontilia sends it to Tiamzon. Bang has been digging. Wow. And Chocomucho has been scoring. I mean, talk about firepower. A lot of deadly weapons on the side of the tight end. Look at that elevation on her approach. Her back row attack looks like her front row attack. Yeah. The same thing. <laughs> and it's like she's also in a long jump. 
event. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> where she lands, it's so far from where she takes off. Flying Titans just two points away from winning the match. Palma will serve. De Leon is blocked, but sent back. What a way to put Choco Mucho at match point. Quite too many unforced errors on the side of the Angels, but Bea De Leon. I think that was Ponce yep. with that dig. She wants to rack up on the, the rankings here. Yeah, she not only can dig, she can also deliver a point. And that is an ace for Bea De Leon. And Choco Mucho wins this one. Two points for Bea. And a six game winning streak for the Flying Titans. Take a look at that once again. Right on the money. For Captain Bea De Leon. And Choco Mucho will get their sixth win of the second All-Filipino Conference at the expense of Petrogas' fourth straight loss. I mean, the Petrogas Angels need to go back to the drawing board. They need to go back to their usual self. What we've seen in the start of the second All-Filipino Conference, I have to say a lot of their attacks were not being converted into points and a lot of miscues mm. on, their, on their side. Our final scores on your screens. Relive this game and all PVL games anytime, anywhere on the Filipinas Live app available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. What a match. The Flying Titans dropped their first set. But because of this girl. 20 excellent digs, 9 excellent receptions. Without Ponce, the offense would not be running smoothly. Dina would have a difficult time. She'll be having a lot of bump sets, very obvious offensive moves. But thank Ponce. Ever since she started in this second All-Filipino Conference. She's been super. Oh, Ponce is now our little boo tank. That's right. <laughs> okay, but, and she gets the applause from the crowd. And we take a look at the updated team standings so far. Choco Mucho is now tied with Cherry Tigo at 6-1. Cream Nine still up there undefeated. Meanwhile, Petrogas is right smack in the middle with 4-4. Four and four. Uh, we end our matches here inside the Philoid Echo Oil. But on Saturday, we transfer to the Aquilino Q. Pimentel Jr. International Convention Center in Cagayan de Oro for the continuation of our PVL second All-Filipino Conference. It's Jerflor versus Akari for the first one. And PLDT versus Cream. And again, that's happening in Cagayan de Oro City this Saturday. And that does it for our coverage here on behalf of Kyla Kingsu and my partner, Jamie LaVitoria. My name is Dipriaco saying thank you for watching the Premier Volleyball League. Next led, getting the win a while ago. Signal continuing their winning ways. And Choco Mucho riding the hot streak. Goodbye and thank you as we say see you again here at the Heart of Volleyball.